are high expectations in Carnival Town as the winless Saints take on the equally winless Browns. Cleveland's Frank Ryan will be quarterbacking on injured ankles. At the outset of the first period, he tests the Saints' defense with his running attack, principally Leroy Kelly. Kelly totaled an amazing 105 yards during the first half. The ground game established, Ryan tests his ability to drop back under pressure. To the dismay of the 77,000 Crescent City fans, the Cleveland quarterback can take the strain. Paul Warfield makes the catch. In the second quarter, Dick Shiner momentarily replaces Ryan. Shiner's first pass is intercepted by Jackie Burkett and returned to the Cleveland three. Jim Taylor powers over and the score is tied at seven all. Again, Ryan goes to his ground game. Behind superior line play, Ernie Green and Leroy Kelly bring the ball to the New Orleans 41. Once more, Ryan has successfully set up the pass. Ernie Green has swung out of the backfield and has beaten his man. In the second half, the Browns quickly take possession. And New Orleans finds vengeance sweet for a moment, but just a moment. Leroy Kelly blasts in from the one, and Cleveland leads 21 to 7. New Orleans finds itself deep in Cleveland territory after a Dave Whitzel interception. Erich Barnes quickly balances the scale. No place to run, no place to hide, or uncomfortable circumstances at best. Ross Feetner offers an alternative. turns in probably the best two-yard run of the afternoon. It's worth six points. The fourth quarter opens with the Browns in possession again and driving. Frank Ryan finds Paul Warfield at the New Orleans 11. Dave Witzel doesn't make sufficient contact, and the Browns have another six points. The dispirited and hapless Saints make one last bid to get on the scoreboard. Gregory recovers the fumble for Cleveland on the Saints 29. Gary Lane is allotted the chore of running out the clock. Two passes pick up 43 yards, 
to the New Orleans one. Larry Conjure fumbles across the goal line, but Ralph Smith recovers for the Browns, and the final score stands Cleveland 42, New Orleans 7. It was a day in which Cleveland couldn't do anything wrong. The offense rolled up 421 yards. The defense hawked the ball relentlessly. The Browns finally put it all together.